Controversial Wayne County Jail Project gets so far over budget? Well, there's a question auditors are asking, and so are the seven Action News investigators. Tonight, investigator Heather Catalo takes action for you as she uncovers new details about the spending. And it's a lot of overspending. What have we found out so far, Heather? Well, we've uncovered about $1.6 million in change orders. Those are records that allow additional spending on the jail that were approved after the original planned budget. And these changes are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the over-budget spending on the new jail. The new Wayne County Jail, a controversial project that's about $91 million over budget. The seven Action News investigators have been digging deep into who authorized all of the spending on the project that's being scrutinized by the FBI. Now we've obtained these change orders. They show approved increases of more than $1.6 million. But that chunk of change is just a fraction of the approximately $47 million in projected hard construction costs that exceed the original construction budget for the jail. This price came as a surprise and is unacceptable. Here's a closer look at the change orders we obtained. Remember, these are for work that has already been approved and completed on the jail site. The largest contract increase was from Blaze Contracting Incorporated for $1.2 million. That covered the removal of hazardous soil, concrete, bricks, and other items. Other change orders came from ATC Associates for asbestos abatement, soils and materials engineers, and other subcontractors to Walbridge Bridge DCK, which is the lead company on the project. Also, there are several change orders from many of those same companies that reduce the cost of their contracts by more than $83,000. All of the 10 change orders that we obtained were approved by either Wayne County Building Authority members Nate Ford and Eileen DeHart or County CFO Carla Sledge. An audit and independent review are currently underway to determine how the jail spending got so out of control. The county has received five bids from developers like Dan Gilbert and Triple Properties Detroit to turn the jail and surrounding buildings into part of Detroit's entertainment district. The real estate, um, whatever it's worth, that's what they will get. You know? At the end of the day, it's better for the counting to, uh, to sell those and build new uh, buildings and bring new people and create more jobs and collect more property tax. The county has not made a decision yet on whether they will resume construction on the jail or whether they will sell the property to a developer and try to build or remodel a jail in a different location. I'm hearing that announcement could come next week, but there's still a lot going on behind the scenes as county officials try to figure out exactly who's responsible for this project being so over budget. All right. Thanks a lot, Heather.